Namaste everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for tuning in. This is Ambi. Today let us talk about Python set comprehensions. I want to talk about all types of comprehensions, in general just comprehensions. So we have talked about list comprehensions. It is exactly or almost like the same. Instead of using like square brackets, you are using curly braces here. So just do it and let's see how it goes. Set range 9 and enter nums 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 alrighty now let's say type nums is what set let me do a simple one let us go ahead and add 10 to each element of nums that is i plus 10 for i in nums so it added 10 to each element of range 9 let us find odd numbers here numbers numbers how do i do that well before we know that a number is odd if it is not divisible by 2 right so what we want to do is let us um first find only odd numbers okay let me show you i for i in nums if i two right there you go enter it is exactly the same as doing this right is r zero nope are not zero So this will give you even numbers. Um, then how is it here? I have not mentioned anything. So why is it taking it? So what it is actually doing here is let me show you here for i in nums um, print i modulus 2 and I want to print also i um, let's say boolean of i modulus 2 okay here you will see why so boolean of 0 is false 1 is true uh, 0 is again false 1 is true right as you can see wherever it is uh, I mean it calculates i modulus 2 right uh, and if you're not giving any condition here that is equal to zero or not equal to zero, like, you know, uh, let me show that to you. Why do it here, right? Basically what it means is, yep, one, three, five, seven. The result is the same here as one, three, five, seven. So what I said to Python is, if I modulus two, right, uh, one three five seven for one what is it two it you get zero right uh when you divide it by two um then you go ahead and uh between range right so zero one two three four five one modulus two then two modulus two right uh, three modulus two let me show you that zero modulus two what do i get i get zero and um, I do this, I get one. So I get zero because two is perfectly divided by two. So if you don't have a reminder, right, then you absolutely get a zero. So if I do bool of zero here, you get false. So whenever it is a false statement, it is not going to include that for let's say here we got one right so what is let's say one modulus two is one so boolean of one is true right so one got included here one three five seven so whenever this state the result of this particular statement here is true it will automatically include that. It is a, it is just a short form of 
saying, let me add this here. Mm, is true. Yep. Or uh, let me, I'm sorry. Mm, true. Yep. So as you can see, we got the same result. This also is the same as this, that is not equal to zero. Yep, 1357. So if somebody gives you a problem and tells you, okay, I have list, I have a set, and I want you to filter out all the odd numbers in that. Basically, you know, okay, uh, this is a common question being asked to check, uh, not to check, you know, whether you know how to do it or not, but they want to know what kind of approach you take. So as you can see here, there are many ways of finding the odd number, but usually it involves this, i model less two, right? Whether it's divisible perfectly by two or not. I think I'm ranting too much on this particular problem. Let me move further. So what other example should I take? Should I talk about even numbers? Well, it's uh, basically, instead of doing this, you go ahead and do this um, and you say even 0 to 4, 6, 8. Uh, okay. Yep. Oh, okay. I've already done this. Or I can also do, let's say, false because 0, as you know, is a false statement, right? Boolean of 0 is false. Yep. So let me do one more uh, S for S in one, two, three. Let's say one, zero. Hmm? What did I do? I just went ahead and created a set from a list. I mean, there is obviously a better way of doing it. That is, you do this and one, two, one, zero. But I just wanted to show you set comprehensions. Obviously, the new set has only three elements because set does not allow duplicates, as you know already. Yeah? Let me do one more S for S and sorry. One, two, three, zero, zero, one, two, three, as there are no duplicates there. Let's do another simple one, s, star, star, two. Now that is s to the power of two for s in range four, zero, one, four, nine. So zero raised to two is zero, one raised to two is two, um, then two raised to two is four, Three raised to nine, uh, two, that is three square, is nine. You can also calculate cube if you like. Let's put it here. Zero, one, eight, twenty-seven. There we go. Mm, let us uh, move to something more interesting. List range three. This is one list. Now I have rest range three to five here i have zero till uh, zero to three that means zero till uh two zero one two here i have three four that's it i mean there's no five now let me do some set comprehension with that a b for a in range three for B in range three comma five, yeah. So what do we get? Zero three zero four one three one four two three two four. A B for A in range three for B in range three to five. As you can see in the list range three, we have three elements or three members. In the list range three to five, we have only two. 
So what is it doing? 0, 3, right, then 0, 4, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4. It's doing a mix and match and creating a tuple. A set of tuples. Yep. So we got a set of, uh, let's say we want to solve some problem. Let's say get a, a set of non prime numbers. That is, get a set of non prime numbers. Numbers, numbers, numbers. There we go. Let us get a list of prime numbers from range 2 to 9 first. Let's, how are we going to solve? Okay, let us get a list of prime numbers from range 2 to 9 and dot. First, we will find all numbers which are a multiple of numbers in range 2 to 9. Okay, and then add 1 to the set since 1 is not prime. Okay, right? So this is how we're going to do first. Uh, we're going to get a list of prime numbers from range 2 to 9. First, then we will find all numbers which are multiple of numbers in range 2 to 9. Add 1 to the set since 1 is not a prime, right? Because 1 will be included. Okay, I have to make it marked down. All right. Uh, well, do this. And okay, so first, let's first tap is nums set a star b for b in range 2 to 9, right? For a in range 2 to 9. Yep. Um, then let me print out nums first. What do I have? What do I have? Four, six, eight. Obviously, these are, you know, not all the prime numbers here, but we will get there, right? So this is nums, and we will do nums. Let add. Let's add one to that. And then we have. Uh, now let's calculate all the prime numbers in range. Uh, prime numbers in range two comma nine escape caps m shift enter let's say p for p in range two of nine if p not in nums right two three five seven First, what we did, uh, a star b for b in range 2 to 9 for a in range uh, 2 to b. What we did is instead of trying to see whether a number is divisible by all the previous numbers uh, before it, so that is how we... Uh, okay, first thing first, a prime number is something which is not divisible by anything else but itself and number 1, right? So 7 is a prime number. It is divisible by 1 and 7. Now, instead of trying to see okay, whether it is divisible by some other number, what we did is uh, from the range 2 to 9, we calculated the multiples of everything. That is, um, 2 to 9 is um, let's go 2 into 3, 2 into 4, 2 into 5, 2 into 6, 2 into 7, 2 into 8, 2 into 9, then 3 into like, you know, everything. We calculated all the multiples of all the numbers between 2 to 9 and we did that in a set if it was a list we would have had duplicates that is first we calculated okay 2 2 into 3 right again when we are starting from 3 so 3 into 2 is the same right but since it is a set it will not allow duplicates so we have unique numbers right so now okay now we will say p for p in range 2 to 9 if p not in these numbers right obviously uh, 2 3 5 7 2 3 4 is in this number uh, 5 6 is in this um, particular set here 
So seven, so two, three, five, seven are prime numbers. So if somebody tells you, okay, uh, calculate, um, you know, uh, prime numbers between, or get me the prime numbers between one to 100. So how would you do that? This is how you will do. You will say, instead of uh, nine here, you will put, um, well, let's, let's do that, okay. So this is nums, and here I'm going to do 100, yep. And I will do 100, and then I will do nums dot add one, okay, and right, and then I will do this. Okay, I, this is how, there you go, two, three, five, okay, these are the prime numbers between two, 200 are till zero to 100. So this is how you calculate prime numbers, right? Okay, so let us move on to another one. I keep ranting about the same thing. Uh, I have a bad habit. This horse is dead, let us not beat the dead horse anymore. As to set range, Three to six. S one. I really love to. Right, okay, I was okay, three, four, or five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, thirty, whatever you want. Okay, three, four, five, S2 is, let's calculate, um, S2, okay, what do I show from this? I'm just thinking, okay, this X plus Y um, for X in S1 for Y in S2, this is what it is. Control A, Control C, Control V. Now, X comma Y for X in S1 for Y in S2. Okay, so here, what I did is I had two sets, uh, 0 to 3 and 3 to 6. I calculated the sum of each element, so that is X plus Y for X in S1 for Y in S1. So it iterates through both of these sets and calculates the sum of them. 0 plus 3, 3. 0 plus 4, 4. 0 plus 5, 5, right? And then 1 plus 3, but it adds. And as you know, set does not allow duplicates, it removes the duplicates. Same thing here, x comma y for x in S1 for y in S2. Here we have a set of tuples. What if you want to do multiple it uh, no, multiple four iterations in a set. Uh, and the logic is similar to how we did in set. Mm, escape caps. Oops. What happened here? Press something and it went up. Mm, okay. Escape caps. M. Shift enter. X plus Y for X in S1 for Y in S2 if X modulus Y not equal to zero. Here we go, four, five, six, seven. Nums set range minus four, comma four, X plus Y for X in S1, for Y in S2, if, if X modulus Y is not equal to zero, that is a condition. Again, I have done multiple four iterations here. I think logically this should have been here, okay.
There we go. Um, we don't want bookmark. Get the bookmark out. All right, we have another set. Nums set range minus four. Let me print out what is that nums. Okay, then what do I want to do with that? What should I show you? Okay, here we go. N star two for n in nums if n greater than or equal to zero. Here we go. Then you do apply a function or method to a set. This is what I um, want to do. But let's you go ahead and create a let's say a function of your own R. Use the built-in function and see how that works, right? So let me underscore underscore. Oops. Okay, what should I show you? All right, get the absolute value. That is ABS n for n in nums. Here we go. Then we do get the octal value. That is OCT of n for n in nums. Okay. Let us do something with a string. Let me do this. I'll say, okay, let me rather get this here. Yep. And what we want to do is if a string ends with sh, then make it uppercase, right? So let us go ahead and do that. Hmm. Let's say I dot upper for I in jail if I dot ends with mm, SH. Yeah. Flash. Mm, let's do that for man. If it ends with man. Okay, so everything ending with man. Now they have been made into uppercase. Let us go ahead and remove spaces. If um, it has any space that I will do with strip for I in no if condition. Let's remove space for all of them. Here we go. Hyperman, Batman, Flash, Superman, Bond Woman. Spaces are all gone. Let us calculate. Mm. Okay, list of numbers from the range 99, which are divisible by 2 and 3. Yep, that is x for x in range 99. If x 2 is 0. Then f x also is divisible by 3. So if x in the range 99, if any number is divisible by 2 and 3 without any reminder, or remind, remainder, however you want to call it, then list that out. Okay, 0, 6, 12, 18, blah, 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 and until 90, 96, so till from 0 to 96, these are from 0 to 99, these are the numbers which are perfectly divisible by 2 and 3 without any remainder. Yeah. So, okay, so that is it. Let's calculate one more. Mm, let's do, mm, okay, in the range, um, what, 9? The range 9. Or 99. 
if x less than 5, then multiply it with 10. And if not, then multiply it with 3. Mm. Okay, so let us do that. Uh, well, before that, let me to just take 9. I don't want to um, have a huge number to show there, and you have to just scroll up. Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and do that for a set and a list, and we can see the difference, right? So, yeah, let me take this here. Let me make it nine and then say in R. Okay, let me write the whole thing here. Uh, that is x star 10, that is multiply x with 10 if x less than 5, else multiply x with 3 for x in range 9. Here is what we have. I'm going to take this and I'm going to make this a list. Let's do a list comprehension. Enter. What do we get? Isn't that strange? Huh? 0, 10, 15, 18, 20, 21, 24, 30, 40, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, right? And 15, 18, 21, 24. I mean, the numbers are a bit, you know, uh, here and there. But as you can see, one thing is sorted and another one is not. Little things to notice, okay. Do the same as above, but do a list. Okay, now I will say do a list comprehension of the above and observe the difference yep. I think that is all I had for um, set comprehensions I think I will pick up dictionary comprehensions next and see how that goes up thank you for tuning in and you have a great one take care